Alright guys, so we just made it to Villa Epifania, one of the Philippines' most haunted locations. Yo, yo, bro, it's like go forward and your red pot just went off. Is this the first time you this? It was conjured, bro! Wait, invoke the darkness? What does it mean? In the 1930s, Villa Epifania emerged as an architectural gem in the heart of Florida Blanca, Papanga. Its name pays homage to Donna Epifania from the illustrious Elevandias clan. Originally, the land on which the villa stands was the pride of the Guanzon family, with Captain Patong, the Capitan Municipal of Santa Rita, as his patriarch. The baton was later passed to his son, Don Olimpio Guanzon, who instructed a house there in 1925. This house, however, was later dismantled to make way for the villa, brought to life by architect Mariano Pineda, a kin of the Guanzones. Amidst the chaos of World War II, the villa provided refuge, serving as the commander for the Japanese officers and local leaders. A beacon of modernity, between 1931 and 1932, Villa Epifania set itself apart. Its architecture is robust, with walls as thick as a foot and a unique gallery of windows gracing its western facade. Further adding to its charm is the Azotea, which grants viewers a scenic vista. Its significance was further immortalized in famous Filipino horror films. Whispers and tales of the villa's past keep the locals intrigued, while well, some recall its wartime significance as a haven for Japanese soldiers. Others recount more harrowing tales of the town's inhabitants suffering unspeakable atrocities within its walls. These tragic episodes are believed to have given rise to restless spirits, casting a shadow on the villa's beauty, and making it a beacon for awe-inspiring architecture and chilling legends. This is the house, bro. This one? Yeah. Dude. It looks spooky, right? Yeah. I can feel a strong presence from here. Is it a bad presence? No. They're sort welcoming. Of throw. Welcoming, huh? Yung, yeah. yung ano lang, there's just one. But when we went here, there were two entities. One good, one bad. Okay. Maybe I have what I can feel. Alright guys, so we just made it to Villa Epifania, one of the Philippines' most haunted locations. It's an abandoned mansion. Have fun bro. Wait, wait, see you tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? No, you're just getting us food, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. There you go, they're ditching us. They don't want to stay with us in the haunted place. It's a bus ride back home. No! Like a two hour bus ride is only, I think, my uh, partner to Take care bro. <laughs> Alright, now nah, they're coming back. We're gonna stay the night here. We're unpacking. Yeah. Dude, this. Yeah. I mean, dude, this is the night. Yes. Alright, guys, so we just have about 30 minutes until sun sets. We're gonna be here completely in pitch darkness and I'm really excited. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this place has been here since the 1930s. More precisely, during the American colonization period in 1932. Now the reason why they say this place is haunted is because they say that during World War II, Japanese soldiers actually stayed in this building and passed away here. They also say that local residents that used to live here were abused. And so there are many restless spirits. And I'm here with some good friends, Zakaru and Agassi. So guys, before this paranormal investigation begins, please smash the like button and let me know where you're from down in the comments, especially if you're from the Philippines. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned until the very end. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna enter. Ready? So far, um, I feel pretty good so far. I don't really feel like anything malevolent or evil in here. Maybe because we're outside. True. Probably a thing. Last time we went here. Yeah. Um, the spirits in here are welcoming. Oh. oh. They 
entertaining. Okay. You can feel them, but they're entertaining. Not, they're entertaining they're like you can feel them dancing, <laughs> no. waving. All right. Uh, <laughs> so basically, kind of so basically, we're going to a party. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a party with souls. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. There's no one there. I know. I'm playing around. <laughs> What if it opens? Dude, that freak me out. <laughs> yeah, right. How do you want to get out welcome. Do you see anything? Yeah. This is really hard, bro. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go. 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 I'm just Okay, they're gonna let us in now. <laughs> Here we go. Damn. Still got the chandeliers in here and a bunch of other furniture. So, what is the most haunted room here in the mansion? For the second floor. Or why is it considered the haunted, most haunted room here? Ano ba Tagalog? Okay, uh, it's okay. You can speak Tagalog. Ano po yung nalalamdaman po namin yan? Masyadong ano lang yung parang vibe sa pagkiramdam namin po hindi po talaga po market pass. Parang pagtasa po yung parang eh ano bilang lao pinawisan na nabingi nabibingi ako sa dami. Pagkasara ng pinto ano? So we pretty much split up. We're each gonna explore the place separately. I'm gonna show you guys around and give you guys a walkthrough before we get on to the investigation. And also guys, I'm really sorry. I'm like drenched in sweat right now. It's summertime, it's super hot out. Especially here in the Philippines, it's like probably over 90 degrees or 30 Celsius. But I'll, I'll put it as motivation that I'm losing weight. But right behind me, you can see people that lived here previously throughout the years. Even right here, it says the year 1955. Wow. Look at them, they look really wealthy, powerful. You can see the ceiling has been damaged, and the floor, we have to be a little bit careful while exploring. But here is all the ghost that I have, including my night vision camera, one second. Here it is. Now this is probably gonna be one of my most favorite things to use during this paranormal investigation. Without further ado guys, this is absolutely incredible, I can already tell. It's gonna be a fun explore. So right next to the dining table is this room right here. The floor is caving in guys, you can see a giant hole right there. So this is what I mean that we have to be careful exploring the place. Ceiling has been damaged, probably due to water. Look at this arc right here, this arc entrance that we're seeing right now. Very Filipino design. Okay, looks like there's a little bit of water right there. Gotta watch out where we step, might be slippery. I guess this leads to another entrance or exit, but all of that is flooded. So this is like the kitchen. Oh, we still have like cups in this cabinet right here. Let's see if the sink still works. Oh, look at that, there's still water in here. I mean, this place is still pretty livable. I just think there's no electricity, but the plumbing system works. The door in the back is wide open. Holy crap, holy shit. Oh my gosh, yo, yo. dude. This is the biggest spider I've ever seen here in the Philippines. Biggest what? The biggest spider I've ever seen in the Philippines. Where is it? Is that just because I'm new here? Or is that how a normal spider looks like here in the Philippines? Dude, it's what they call house spider. What you call spider man? That's a house spider to you yeah. guys? That's normal here? It's normal here. Bro, that's not normal. It's definitely not normal. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's small. It's, it's not small. It's small, bro. It's small. All right, you touch it. Uh, actually, bro, it's the uh, you poke it. It's it's the kind version <laughs> of tarantulas. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, <laughs> I thought you were really gonna do it. Dang, his eyes are glowing too. Yeah, that's Don't worry, bro. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> My eyes are glowing too. Oh, yeah, they're very, very beautiful. <laughs> you going to explore upstairs? Yeah, I'll go upstairs and then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. He scared me. Sorry, sorry. All right, my friends are done exploring, so time to check the second floor. This is the most haunted floor here, apparently. Even the caretakers don't want to go up here. But yeah, going alone, guys. I feel like when you're alone exploring a haunted place, 
the ghosts are probably more welcome towards you. So this is what I put myself through, just being alone in the most haunted floor, trying to get some sort of activity. Whoa, this is beautiful. There's a beautiful hallway and you have two rooms connected to each side. Okay, I guess some of these rooms are locked. Okay, this leads to a bathroom. Oh my gosh. Giant cockroach, typical here in Asia. And looks like that door is locked. Let's see. Okay, let's see this room. Looks like this room was meant for three people and perhaps kids. You can see how the beds look. It has Disney characters on it. Dang, if we wanted to, we can sleep here for the night. I wonder how clean the beds are though. Probably not too clean, but yeah, the room is so, so sick. You got doors that lead out to balconies. All right, two more bedrooms over here. Oh my gosh, that's a big drop. That leads down to the dining room, I think, or the basement. The heck, gotta watch our step here. Whoa, this bed is beautiful. Maybe this was the master bedroom. Can't believe it's still here after all those years. But yeah, it's a big room. You know, here in the Philippines, it's typical to have a bed like this with drapes on it just to keep the bugs away when you sleep and to add some privacy. Okay, last bedroom here on the second floor. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh, what's that flying around up there? I think it could be a bat or a bird. This might be bigger than the master bedroom. Okay, it's another room that can fit three people. Whoa. Well, this makes me feel much safer to have these statues here. What the heck was that? Guys, I heard a sound somewhere right here, right here. Like a weird sound. I don't know if I caught that on camera. Hello? Okay, anyway, let's take a closer look at the beds. Like the carving there. Oh, here's a family portrait. Probably the same people from downstairs that were framed up. And those are their kids. Well, here's the third floor. Can we go up here? I'm not really sure if it's safe. <clears throat> well, feels pretty sturdy. Dang. So this is like a watchtower that we're in. Oh, don't come any close to me. You can probably see a good view from here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> right across the street is like a market. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got some ghosts outside. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna head back downstairs. Let's set up the equipment and let's start the paranormal investigation. Let's try to communicate with the spirits in here. So in the Philippines, the major religion is Christianity. Everyone here prays. We're gonna pray. During this whole series, I'm gonna pray. Not only because the place is haunted, but you know, for our protection too. So let's introduce ourselves to the good spirits here. My name is Steve. My name is Zark. Anna. We come here with respect. We're here to document this place. We would like to invite you guys to sit down with us and communicate with us. Feel free to say anything. We got equipment here too that you can use in in your world, in your in your realm. You can play around and we'll help you guys communicate. It says 13, bro. Another idea was to use the Spirit Talker app, but unfortunately our friend wasn't really feeling it for his first time. Here with us. Hold on. You said uh, we're going to do this upstairs. Upstairs is different. No, I mean, we're not going to talk upstairs. I, I know, I thought so too, but we can use this here. Let's use it for both. I'm not comfortable with that one. I see, I see. Let's use upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm in the Philippines. Maybe not a lot of spirits here speak English, although Philippines does have a lot of cultural background with the English language. They are a rich family here in the Philippines. They might be speaking uh, English. But okay. I think they also speak their Indian instead of yeah, Spanish. Be, yeah. Spanish. We also don't know the other spirits that could be in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not from the family. We're in the island. Yeah, we're on Tagalog. Yeah, this is a great way for me to learn Tagalog as well. So, yeah. Just wanted to mention that to you guys. Try to speak in Tagalog. May kasama ba kami dito? Yeah, try that. That was so fast. Sige. May kasama ba kami dito? May kasama... Kamakabito. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get it on, bro. Yeah, let's get serious here now. 
If there's any spirits here, feel free to come sit with us. Like I said, there's devices here. You can go and touch them. I think we just gotta wait. Just wait it out. Not all the time they're gonna, you know, do something. So it's really, I gotta be patient too. But that's why, like, we just have to be welcome. You know, they could be shy. Maybe say something to God. Maybe. Maybe we can talk to this one. I'm not gonna make Pablo uncomfortable. Or maybe come upstairs. After 10 minutes. If, after 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. If still nothing happens. Yeah. You go upstairs. <clears throat> yes. What time is it anyway? 8.30. Maybe it could be too early too. I don't know. But if you play the song, it's any time, I guess. Right. It's just I don't feel any strange here. Oh, what's that? That just went off. What? That. Yeah, this that thing. Is. Yes. Is that you? Did you touch that? If it's you, can you do it again? Can you please do it a third time just to confirm that you're here? Oh. Yo! Dude, I got hit yellow too. Yeah. What about the other equipment? Can you touch the red pot? The red pot. Try to touch the same thing. Can you it's touch it? Is there many of you here? If there's a few of you here, can you touch the EMF reader again? So you don't respond to me. But the thing is, we don't know what do she want to say or he want to say because we don't have this right. talking spirit box. Yeah, we're going to ask this one no questions so far. Did you die here? Am I going to go? Do so yes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Whoa. Oh, is it your battery? Dude. It's your battery. Is the camera just died in the wall? I just changed the battery. No, it's your grandpa again. Why are you about bro? That's the temperature. Is that you? Are you using the energy of this camera? Bro, it's 40% but it might be off. Every time you literally ask a question, it goes off. Wait, can you make sure my camera is not dead too? What if it's dead? Let's check it out. That would suck. That would really suck. Please tell me it's so off. For nothing. Yeah, it's still recording, bro. Oh. Can you reroll it? Thank you. Our first session was a slow start. But I was very surprised about all the interactions we got. Let me know what you think. Are you a Filipino? Are you Japanese? Dude, that went all the way up. Yeah, maybe yes. Yeah, definitely a yes. That's like a hardcore yes. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Dude, dude, dude. I remember this when the Japanese failed to do his mission. He goes right because he don't want to disappoint his country right yeah so maybe some of the soldiers also were killed here or maybe killed himself mm -hmm. we don't know is he correct about that if there's more spirits upstairs can you touch the vice it just went off. So he wants you to go up. So stand up. Is, is that yes? You want us to go upstairs? Is there more of you there? Oh, wait, wait. There's more of you there. I guess. So they're inviting us upstairs. Yeah. For a third time, do you want us to go upstairs? Okay. I think that's it. We, we have to it's go upstairs. Time. 
That's a sign. Literally three times you guys have a question. And it just goes off. Fourth time? I think third time is it. You're yeah. pushing your luck. Yeah. It's okay. Alright, let's go upstairs now. That was pretty good. Okay guys, so we just made it upstairs. We're gonna set up everything. So our idea is to put one music box in the hallway. Whoa, I just caught that. One music box in the hallway in case there's any spirits walking around there. Over here, we're gonna also put like a REM pod on the bed. Um, maybe a music box right next to the door. Guys, one more music box in the Everything is still going off. It's been like 30 minutes and everything is still playing. Dude! Dude! Uh, you know what's weird? It's like one goes off and uh -huh. then the next one goes off. The next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how is that happening? Because this is not possible, bro. It only detects motion. Yeah, I've never seen these music boxes go off like that. I can't explain it, guys, but what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Guys. Let me know what you think is going on right here in the second floor. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Back and forth, back and forth. Dude. Maybe we're getting played. Uh, yeah, it's like, it could be a spirit, like one spirit joking around with us, like yeah, hanging bro. around, messing around. But now it's getting too annoying. <laughs> like, if that continues on while we're here in this room, I don't know. It's too much. Maybe? Yo. Dude, 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 dude. What is that? My red pod. Your red pod's going off. This is the second time, actually. It's a temperature. Um, signal that's going off, which means there's a change, change of temperature. Yeah, it means a change of temperature. Hmm. Maybe I don't know where we should put one of them. Is this the first time you experienced this? Yeah, I've never experienced this before, except for tonight. Cause, bro, remember, we're in the one of the most haunted houses in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So just turn it off, bro. Yeah. I don't want to hear it anymore. As you can see here, my friend went outside to check on the music box and to demonstrate that it can only be activated if something is right in front of it. I can't explain how the two music boxes were just going off back and forth. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We're going to start communicating using the Spirit Talker app. You know, downstairs we were only communicating with an EMF reader. Um, the reason why, too, is because Agassi wasn't really comfortable, and we respect that. He's not joining us right now because, you know, he is really sensitive when it comes to something like this. And, of course, we're not here to pressure anyone to do these type of things. But me and Zark, we're continuing yep. on alongside our boy. Rick. Yeah, Rick. And... Here. Already, here. already, dude, is saying I something. Call Gibson turning yellow. Oh. Every time I just put it there, it should be only green, right? Dapat green lang to. Yeah, that's weird. It's like staying on green. Where's mine? It's yours. No, mine makes. Oh yeah. What the See? heck? Even here, it's spiking green. Well, actually, these EMF readers are sensitive to phones, so we shouldn't put it near the phone. We should keep them a little bit further away. Um, Maybe here, but... Yeah, why is it staying completely green? Can I see? You wanna... What the heck? 
It's weird, bro. That's so strange. It's so strange how like all the Godfrey. equipment. Godfrey. Is that his name? I worked here, Godfrey. I mean, that makes sense. Godfrey is usually like a last person's name. I know a person named Godfrey, so maybe oh, really? this is his person, bro. Actually, actually, yeah. First name. I think that could be a Filipino name, right? Yeah, I have a friend named Godfrey. Mm. So, let's start. Yeah. I'm Zark. I'm Steve. I'm Rick. Where we came here, we're the same people that were downstairs. We're here to further communicate with you guys and free free. Feel free to join us here in this room. Um, we, commu we communicate with one of your friends downstairs and he, he welcomed us he welcomed us and invited us to come downstairs. So Sense of death. Sense of death. Sense of death. Is he sensing death? I hope not. It, but I think the spirits here are more peaceful, so... Mm -hmm. How did you die, Godfrey? The EMF keeps on. It's there still... This, oh, now it's beeping. Yeah, it's beeping. Bro, there could be a lot of spirits in here. Probably. I mean, that's what, that's what a lot of people say about this place, is that this... Mansion is haunted doubt, by many spirits. I doubt it. Because of the phone. It should be beeping, right? Crying. Mm. Crying. He died. Were you sad when you passed away here? Because I think a more tragic death would be the ones that were supposedly abused here though. Probably. That's why it said that the, the some people that lived here or were in here before were abused very, very badly. And they were crying to death, bro. They were crying to death, yes. Is, is that correct, what we just said? If so, can you confirm it with any of these equipment? Maybe you can uh, touch one of them for us. What's still going on? If there's a spirit touching this thing, you can move something. Maybe touch it more. Make it give it more energy. If you give it more energy, it'll make a sound. Freeze. Freeze. This one. Freeze. Yeah. Should oh, we? Oh, it's connecting now. What are you thinking? Like, like a. Imagine you you've been occupied by the Japanese. Right. Over. When you go with you, yeah, freeze. you would freeze. Come with us. Right. I feel like, dude, like these are communications or different answers from different types of spirits. Bro, actually, it could be like a spirit that has been abused in here and a spirit that was like a, a previous soldier. Bro. Well, thank you for all the answers you've given us. It's really making us learn a lot about what happened here in your story. Um, feel free to keep on communicating. Yo, yo, bro, it's like go forward and your REM pod just went off. And the funny thing is, I've turned this off. Wait, what the heck? Guys, your REM pod now, man. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Dude, I don't know if, if, I don't know if I caught that, but I literally saw the drape move. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? That thing, it just moved. The what? The, the, the drape, the curtain moved. How, bro? Wait, wait. Everything is closed Just here. There's a camera that don't, don't, don't. This was the most activity we got all night, and all our equipment was being drained of its batteries. What happens next truly made me believe that we might have summoned Yo, something Yo, that night. Sorry, do you have another extra battery for the coding? It was conjured, bro! Oh, what was conjured? So what that doesn't sound good at all. Impossibly detoxy. Like the whole vibe of this mansion changed. What was conjured here? And dude, my camera literally died. Mm -hmm. Fresh new battery too. Yeah. I'm rolling the camera, guys. Yo. We're getting a lot of activity right, right now. Uh, I'm just gonna have to change the battery on my camera really quick. That should be good now. So far, these equipments right here in the hallway haven't been triggered at all. Is it my red card? 
of yours. It's your REM pod. The weird thing is I keep turning that off. Dude, like, the weird thing is, look at my light, it's now empty battery. Mm -hmm. And I just changed batteries and look my camera, bro. It died? 5%. 5%. It kind of makes sense that all our batteries are being drained right now, considering the amount of activity we're getting from the machines. It must take a lot for the spirits that are in here. But I keep turning this off because, so to be honest, I never really use the temperature, the temperature feature on the REM pods. I just find it annoying. So I just turn it off again. If that goes, if that turns on again, I don't know what's wrong with that thing. Cave. Cave? Cave. Is there a cave nearby? Yeah, what do you mean by the cave? That was her. That was her. So whoever said cave must that have been a female true. spirit. We yeah. invoke the darkness. We invoke the darkness. What does it mean? I don't know. We invoke the darkness. Doesn't sound so good. Doesn't sound good at all. But I'm not really getting like super dangerous energy in this place, you know? Mm -hmm. What did you mean by forward? Do you want us to move out of this room? Can you please answer us? If you want us to get out of this room, can you walk outside in the hallway? I'm in the shadows. I'm in the shadows. Well, what do you think is the most darkest room here right now? Probably the, the, the kids' room over there, right? Because there's no lights in there. There's lights in here, there's lights in that room across. Mm -hmm. And the other rooms, we can't even get in. So it only makes sense that the darkest room Surely is the one in the kids' room. the cameras on here? We go there? Let's see, let's, let's try to get one more confirmation. Okay. Do you want us to go to the kids' room with the three beds? I know you're communicating with us with the spirit talker, but can you try communicating with another device? Dude, the strangest thing is, it's like downstairs, the EMF reader was going off every time we tried to communicate with the spirit. Yeah. Now we're in this room. Help us. I'm in the shadows. I'm Help in the shadows. Us. Help us. Bro, they're just answers coming from different spirits, for sure. Help us, it means... It he's means like just more. One. Yeah, yeah, dude, more that confirms one. it. That confirms that there's more spirits in here. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's just go to the other room. Yeah, let's let's use the... Uh, the technique thing. The headphones. Yeah, wait, are we there? Yeah, let's just use that in that room. All right, everyone. So we're going to the it's darkest the room room, here. Bro. We're purely using night vision in this room. Andito ba kayo ngayon sa kwarto na to? See you. See you. So, uh, I what? just, uh, I, I just ask, uh, if they are here. That's their response. Seems like they're responding in English too. Yeah. I'll, I'll say something. See you. Are you watching us right now? Killed. How did you die? Let's. Let's. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot were killed. How many of you guys were killed? Cheers. Cheers. I know, it must have been sad, but can you tell us how many of you were Sinakal. killed? Sinakal. Sinakal, so... Sinakal me. They, they are died by choking. Yeah. May I see you? Yes, you can see us. Come sit next to us, actually. Can you tell us your name? Pray. Pray. Maybe they need some prayer. Maybe they need some prayers, yeah. yeah. We will pray before we leave. We will try our best to help you guys. Are you joking? No, we're not joking. We're being very serious. I know maybe there's a lot of people that have passed, passed by here or visited this mansion, but we are not here to just communicate, but we also want to help you to the spirits here. So we will pray for you. You hear that? I Yeah. I They don't want. They don't? Want. Yeah. Skin. Skin? Skin. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the praise when they get choke. Skin? Yeah, they want to stop the choking. Bro, I'm feeling weird right now. What are you feeling? You can't hear me, right? Hmm. Okay, I don't think you can hear um, Where are you from? What? Which, where are you from? Which country are you from? Do you remember? Pinoy Barrio or Japanese? Hemp. Hemp? Hemp. I think we need more answers to help us. Take note. We're not we sure. got this. We're, we're not sure what you mean. Behave. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm, I'm from America. I'm American. I'm American Filipino. 
We're from Manila. Andito ako. Yeah, he's here. Is he he's here? Yeah, he or she. I don't know if that's a girl or boy. Behave. Huh. Believe me. Believe me. Behave, believe me. Yes, we come here with the utmost respect. We will behave while we're here. We just want to hear more about your stories. See this. See this. If you want to just so, if you want to show us something, we do have more devices here. I believe some one of you touched the the cat ball. You can touch it again right now if you want to confirm you're here with us. See? See? Hi. Hi. But but you're not responding on the devices. Yeah, they're not. The devices aren't going off anymore. Whisper. Whisper. Dugo ang ulo. Dugo ang ol ulo. Blood on. Blood. Blooded head. Blood. Yeah. Okay, we understand the tragicness that happened Lahat here. Kayo. Every one of us. Everyone pass. Every one of us. No, I'm gonna say. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say that we understand the tragicness that happened here. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We should stop? Yeah. Maybe we should stop. Gonna see you. Gonna see you? I think he's saying goodbye. Yeah. Okay, could, could, could I? Wanna oh, put it back on? Yeah. I'll oh, put it back on really quick, sorry. Okay. Can I try listening? I would love to hear you try to communicate with me as well. Is that okay? Before we leave? Oh. <laughs> it just That's kind of rude. Is there any spirit here that would like me to listen through the through the spirit box? Can you please sit? Yeah. Let's see. So yeah. Happy. Happy? Yeah. So there's at least one spirit happy to communicate with me. Yes? Joy. Joy. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. All right. We should well, stop. We'll tell them to stop. Yep. So the last question I asked was, are you happy if I communicate, if you communicate with me mm -hmm. next? And there's joy and happy and then stop. So I think you should switch. Yep. Yeah. What happened? Um, dude, did this answer all the questions? Pretty accurate replies, man. Yeah. Really? And dude, there was one spirit where I said like, uh, can I communicate next? And he was like, fuck you. Yeah, that's that's so rude. <laughs> yeah. Really? Like, yeah. There was one spirit that after the like, joy and happy. Bro, it's weird because I'm hearing like a lot of Tagalog and English words. Yeah. Right. I'm feeling goosebumps right now. Same. Well, let's try me next. I'm just going to ask, right? Yup. Both of you can ask because mm -hmm. I'm surprised it communicates well in English and Tagalog, but. When you communicate with me, I'm sorry, but my Tagalog isn't so well. So do please, for any spirit here that can communicate in English, say stuff in English. Mm. Yeah. When did when are you killed? He he maybe the lala from the sun. Mas nasa masayang kalagayan ka ba ngayon? Okay ka ba? Steve. Steve. It's his name. Come on. Yeah. Pangalan niya. Yeah. Steve, come on. Paano gusto mo tumulungan ka namin? Hey. Sit down. Leave. Sabi mo sit down, gusto mo kaming umupo, then sabi mo leave. Galit ka ba? Or gusto mo paano ka namin tutulungan? No. Nope. What? How? Are you angry? Is it okay if we're here? What do you need? What do we need? What do you need? Ang kailangan natin. Ah, uh, nandito lang po kami upang mag-explore and mag-investigate and we want to know the history ng sana yung malaman kung ano ang buong kasaysayan ng nangyari sa inyo and maybe baka pwede namin kayong tulungan pag we pray namin kayo. Shut up. Maybe they don't want bandi na lang sa. Kasi kanina no. Oh. Go. Oh. Kanina, kanina, di ba, may fuck you na. Nung oh. after ng kay Steve, kung pwede siya magtanong. Yeah. Wala. <laughs> Wala, di ba? Wala. Yeah, yeah. Ba? Yeah, bro. Everything is accurate, bro. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. No way. Like, what are you asking? Sumbatulungan ka namin? Uh -huh. No. 
what, what does that mean? Uh, um, do you want us to help you? We can pray for you. I said that. Oh. Um, Says no. Dude, I and then, I, and then leave. At least uh, one spirit here. That's kind of yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit more not not so polite. The other spirits here, mm. because there is a, a one time we asked a question and it said please pray. So and then I promise this was when you had these on. I said like yes, we will pray. And he's like, are you joking? I'm like, no. We come here very respectfully. A lot of the time, I know you might get visitors coming here mm. and um, maybe ignoring you guys and not praying for you guys, but yeah. we're different, we will pray for you. So, we actually, because the mga vlogs are different, maybe they're just like 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 they're coming here. Yeah. So, let's just show them that we are different. We will pray for them. Yeah. Like, we're not just here just to investigate, but to mm -hmm. help. We should leave, yeah. We should leave, but but we should, we have to we should also pray, pray yeah, yes. for the one who for sure. wants to pray for her yeah. or him. And maybe uh, the one you got this conversation was a good person, right? Yeah, it was a mix. You know, there's so many spirits yeah, yeah. here, I can tell. But let's pack up and then let's before we leave, let's pray. Well guys, all right, it's time to pack up and get to the car. You know, being here in the Philippines and doing this series, doing these paranormal investigations is definitely something different from all the previous ones I've ever done. You know, Philippines is such a very faithful country. You know, it might be very different of you guys to see on this channel for sure, but I respect the culture and of course I believe in God. You know, I've always, always wanted to do something like this while I explore our band places is to help the restless spirits still here. You know, this trip is just not for making videos. Like, I really do want to help if there's any trap spirits here in this world. And yeah, it's, it's such a awesome adventure. And I just, it's just different from any other trip I've done. And shout out to Zark. Yo. And yeah. shout out to my man. Rick, Mark. Rick, Rick. You know, we're, we're still new to each other. But I'll remember your name. <laughs> Rick. Shout out to Rick Agassi's in the car. Um, yeah, it's time to pack. I'm gonna miss this place a lot, actually. Yeah. But uh, if you guys ever want me to come back, just leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure this video hits over 10,000 thumbs up, so I know you guys like it and appreciate it, and I'll come back. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the car. It's late, it's almost midnight. All right, what's up, Ronin fam? And I just want to say thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. If you did enjoy it, of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell, guys. A lot of you guys watching are not even subscribed, so please, it takes one second, just subscribe. But anyway, what a crazy night this was. Um, I forgot to do my outro, so that's why I gotta do it right now. It's currently like 3 a.m. in the morning. Just got done finishing editing this video, and I'm about to just release it, so yeah so i go i want to do this really quick and just go to bed but man like looking back at this adventure it just brings me so back so many memories uh, i filmed this uh, like a few weeks ago with my friends you know shout out to zarek shout out to agassi shout out to rick and shout out to everyone the caretaker for just giving us this crazy experience and man there's so much activity that happened that i can't even explain uh, I want your guys' thoughts and opinions on them. Just leave a comment down below. Would love to hear them, and I'll reply back to you guys. I think just overall, um, just how there was just so much activity, the batteries draining, and the conversation. I think towards the end there was actually some negative spirit, probably the the bad entity, or it could have been the spirit that used to maybe abuse the family there or the people that used to live there. Um, who knows, but it just seemed like this bad entity just didn't want us there and didn't want us to communicate with the other spirits. That's my belief when we were, when we were using the Estes method. Um, there's more adventures to come. I really hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Philippine series. I have so many videos that I filmed in the Philippines that I can't wait to drop for you guys. And just to see your guys' appreciation, just don't forget to share and comment and like the video. Um, if you guys like this video a lot, it just makes me know that you guys appreciate it and it just makes me so much happier and so much more excited to release another 
exploration in the Philippines. And I know I have so many Filipino fans out there. I know how supportive you guys are. So I believe you guys will just share this video a lot to your friends and family. So yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, to all my supporters out there, I just appreciate all you guys. And I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. So take care and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace and thanks for watching.